Next time you open your eyes, we're going to do one final thing to leave you feeling absolutely wonderful, positive, amazing, and changing your life. One, and I'm no longer Thor, no longer superhero, everything back to normal, but we're going to do something really special next time you open your eyes. One, two, three, awake. Doing great, staying up straight and tall. All right. Okay, so this is uh, Zach Pinson's, and I've um, cut out all of the stage hypnosis stuff, and he's going to do a uh, positive intervention with this young lady. Um, now, so she's still partially in trance. Uh, that's why she looks a bit like this. Uh, and just follow along. Now, like I mentioned, I do hypnosis in these fun, entertaining ways. I create these cool experiences, but I also help people to change their life with this tool. So I help people to become more confident, break through depression, anxieties, fears, phobias, stress, things that are holding people back from who they want to be. So if I told you with this tool I could help you to change your life, what would I do to change your life? Okay, so that was the pre-talk, and he was just getting her okay to go ahead and do this positive intervention. And now he's asking for uh, what the target of his intervention is going to be. Anxiety. Anxiety, okay. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being a ton of anxiety, 1 being none so ever, how much do you experience on a day-to-day -day basis? Six. A six, okay. And where do we want it? Zero. A zero. A zero. Not even a one, but just completely gone. Yeah. Okay, again, this is a calibration. Um, how bad is it? So they have a target of what they're going after, after and um, what they want to do with it. How to bring it down to a zero. Now, there's always two sides to this. What you're doing is you're replacing this uh, problem in the subconscious mind, which means that uh, the subconscious mind has a way of calibrating around um, this anxiety problem that she has. And what he wants to do is replace the anxiety programming with a confidence programming. What if I told you right now I could wipe out that anxiety for good? Great. That'd be great? All right. What I'll have you do is focus right here for me. Deep breath in and breathe out and sleep all the way back down that wonderful state of relaxation. Focus. I want you to imagine right now, as you're going even deeper into that wonderful state, focusing completely on the sound of my voice, I want you to imagine where the anxiety is in your mind. Imagine seeing it as if it's suddenly taken form in the form of a ball, just a small little sphere. Imagine all that anxiety in your mind has traveled and trapped into the small little ball, the small little sphere inside your mind. And imagine I just reach into your mind and I pull it out. So I have now pulled out that anxiety from your mind. I'm holding it in my hand, and because it is in my hand, it is no longer in your mind. But imagine I take that ball and I simply toss it straight up into the air as it goes higher and higher and higher out of the planet, out of the orbit, and in fact, all the way into outer space and into the sun. That anxiety has just gone straight to the sun and disintegrated and burned, vaporized. It is gone. Anything that has been burned or vaporized cannot be returned. It cannot come back. That anxiety removed from your brain, burned in the sun, no longer there wiped out completely and any time that you open next time you open your eyes at any point in the rest of your life where you might have experienced anxiety before it is no longer there you no longer feel any anxiety only confidence where that anxiety used to be totally confident in every way anxiety no longer stops you at all whatsoever no anxiety whatsoever only confidence feeling absolutely incredible one two three awake how you feeling feeling good feeling good now you mentioned that okay so what he did is just what i said Subconscious mind works in representations. So he created a representation of the anxiety and balled it all up and then took it out of her brain and threw it away. So this confuses the subconscious mind because the subconscious mind has a connection with the, with the anxiety program. But now he's taken that representation of the anxiety program and he's thrown it away. So now the subconscious mind will have trouble searching for the anxiety program when it usually comes into play. That anxiety was like somewhere around a six. Yeah. Where is it now? Uh, zero. It's a zero. It's just gone. Yeah. And now that that anxiety is gone, what's possible? You feel like you can do anything. Give her a hand for feeling like she can do anything, guys. Because that's what this is about. Knowing that when we do hypnosis, yeah, we create these fun, silly experiences. But when you can use it to help somebody change their life, like. So again, he's reinforcing the change, and she has a big smile on her face because obviously there's been a big physiology change around the anxiety and it's been replaced with confidence. And he's getting the peer support around, clapping for her to entrain the, the change even deeper and giving her another reason to keep the change. Like that, 
make them think they can do anything and achieve your dreams, right? You're going to be a big filmmaker. Yeah. And now that nothing's standing in your way, only the sky's the limit, right? Yeah. So helping people get to that point where they can use their mind not just to have fun and be entertaining, because that's cool, but doing things that genuinely actually change our lives forever. Because whatever your minds can conceive and believe, they can achieve. And I mean that to each and every one of you here. Whether you're hypnotized or not, your minds are that powerful. So final time... Again, he's reinforced the idea of her being a filmmaker and how much better it's going to be now that she doesn't have the anxiety anymore. Time, deep breath in and breathe out and sleep, going all the way back down that wonderful state of relaxation focus. Next time that you open your eyes, no longer hypnotized, no longer relaxed. In fact, I'm going to count it from one to three. Every number I count it from one to three, you feel less relaxed and more full of life, full of energy, releasing yourself from hypnosis when I reach the number three. Starting with number one, beginning to stand up straight and tall now. That's right, feeling so full of energy, so full of life, positive, confident, wonderful in every way. Into the number two, that's right, less relaxed, four, more full of positive, wonderful energy and amazing in every way. That's right, doing absolutely incredible. Getting ready now to open your eyes and release yourself from hypnosis at the final number three. Doing great and give a round of applause. All right, and Charlotte, thank you so much. Yeah. What'd you think of being hypnotized? Uh, it feels different. Feels different, know. but was it a good different? Yeah. Yeah, what would you say to anybody that wants to be hypnotized to me? When he's bringing her out of hypnosis, he could have reinforced the confidence aspect and how she'd be a better filmmaker and be able to accomplish anything she puts her mind to because now she has way more confidence. And just not mention the anxiety part at all, but just the positive part so that the brain can recalibrate instead of anxiety it will have confidence in its place um it is a very eye-opening experience and it i don't know kind of changes your mentality changes your mentality was it fun yeah it was definitely good fun. awesome well thank you so much <laughs> all right okay yeah, so that was another um short example of how hypnosis is done um i hope that was quite interesting for you and we'll see you next time